Hey there, LT Zeta here, and welcome back to more Let's Play uh, Zelda Twilight Princess. In the last episode, we did a whole bunch of stuff. In this episode, I was going a long way to Kakariko. And I found a bug. I was looking for Pose. I got a Grasshopper. Um, there was something sparkly that I noticed in sense mode, though, that was, like, actually drawing me over this direction. That thing. What is that? Oh, that's just a portal, I think. I was like, is that a Poe all the way in the distance? Well... It did at least get me a bug. I don't see any pose over here, so... Oh well. Need your Kakariko. So you may be wondering why I wanted to come over to Kakariko. So the answer to that is quite simple. If I read my information sources correctly, I need to wait for it to be day. I don't like the time jumping in this game. <laughs> it wouldn't be as annoying if there was like a sun song thing. But I don't think there is. So I'll just explore a little bit in the meantime. I don't know, maybe there's a bug in here. Hi. What is in this hole? I have no idea what this is. For all I know, this is just something from ages ago. I don't know. I don't really know what I'm doing. I wanted to do a Malamar thing, but the baby has to sleep. So uh, I guess I'll glance around and see if there's any pose in the area. Would there be any pose in the area, in fact? I've got one of eight in this entire, like, province. Oh, there's a dog in the graveyard! Well, while I'm here, let's go do that. I completely forgot about him. Well, not completely. I did kind of vaguely remember, but I didn't remember exactly where he was. I was like, I was just like, there's a dog somewhere that I haven't gotten yet, right? Hello? Okay, so what do we got? We meet again. Okay. Alright. Pretty easy, all things considered. Six of the skill is the jump strike. Is that like the dash attack from Smash Brothers? Mm, not quite. 
Press and hold A. Okay. Okay, so it's basically a jump attack with, like, a blast radius. Not too hard, not too bad. Neato. Mosquito. There are two more or one more? One more. Okay. Oh, don't worry, buddy. I know I'm well endowed with the strength of a hero. Totally. Okay, well... That's that. Now I just have to wait for it to become day. I really wonder if I am going to try and get all the pose. Because, like, the fact that there's a counter makes it feel like it's the kind of thing that I would enjoy searching for, perhaps. I don't know that for sure. I don't know. There is a Poe up there. Oh, this is the Kakariko Hot Spring. This is where all that water comes from. Okay. Okay, so there's two Poes over here. How do I get over there? Can I, like, climb up from this building? Because if I can, then I can get two more Poes, and that's good. I don't know if I'm supposed to get every single Poe in the game in order to get, like, the last big Poe special thingy. What is Barnes? Barnes and Noble. Yeah, okay. So this just lets us out up here. And then from here, we can get two pose. That's good. That gives me something to do in the dark. Barnes, who the hell did you murder? If there's a ghost in your old house. Well, that was unfortunate. Stand on the ground, and Wolfling can actually murder you. Alright, is this a special dig spot, or just money? Okay. I'll steal Barnes' old life savings. Shouldn't have burned down his house. Alright. Now I'll go up here, get this other Poe. I'm making all of you guys suffer with me because, like, if the game's gonna make me wait, I mean, you know. Yeah. Well, that was almost bad. Not fall off the edge this time. Problem solved. I feel like the way, th the only way they're making Pose slightly more annoying is by like... They just keep putting them in like precarious situations. I have no idea what this is or where I am, but I probably have been here before. Realistically. I don't know, maybe there's a bug in here. I don't know whose house this is or where I am. There's a treasure chest in here. It's probably just a Hylian letter M. Or money. Kitu's having a stroke. And what's up here? Hmm. Clearly, I've never been here before if I'd never got that treasure chest, so I don't know what to expect up here.
Uh huh. The treasure chest over there. How do I get that though? I have not got a clue. I didn't really mean to jump down as the wolf, but like I have no idea how you get that treasure chest at all. Okay, I do have one thought actually. Sorry, Epona. This is my true self, Epona. This is who I really am. Uh, so, my thought was, like, there's a place that I have a hard time getting to and reaching. Maybe if I call over there, I'll be able to be like, Hey! I'm whistling. I... I'm... Car carry me as a bird now. And then I would be carried as a bird. There are chickens! Chickens might help me. Chickens can fly. Yeah, I was thinking, like, maybe I could call the bird by whistling, but, like, it just calls Kona. What if I am a bird? Aha! How's that for flying? Are you kidding me? That was like a actually kind of tricky puzzle to figure out. And it's just money? Like, I mean, at least it's something. It's not a fucking Miiverse stamp. But seriously, I was really gunning for that to be a piece of heart. That was actually kind of tricky. Whatever. Can day fucking come already? I wonder if time even passes in here. I found a thing in the middle of Hyrule Field that I'm just exploring because I want it to be daytime. Oh my lord, what the fuck? Are, what the hell is going on? What on earth are these things? They're pooping bombs. Well, I found more money. Oh shit. Rare choo choo slime. Perfect.
Okay, can you guys, like, just stop, please? Thank you. I don't know why I want to scoop this, but... I can, I guess? Oh, it's bait. No, thank you. Uh, anyways. I sure hope I have enough lantern. I don't. So how do I get more lantern? Because I genuinely don't remember. Well, this didn't do me much good. I, there's, I, I remember, like, there's, like, a place that you can, like, buy it or, like, scoop it up somewhere in Ordon. I sure hope that wasn't, like, a piece of heart I missed. It was probably just money, all things considered. I see something shiny, but it might just be the grasshopper I found earlier. Yeah, I think this is just the grasshopper I found earlier. No, it's a different grasshopper. Okay. Neat. I really want it to be daytime. And also, I don't really want to deal with these guys, so... I'm very annoyed by the passage of time right now. Let's see if I can find more lantern oil. another hot spring area. Doesn't seem like there's anything else in particular. Was this where, like, there was a spirit? Probably. I don't remember. This is way too long ago for me to remember. I don't know specifics. I just want it to be daytime. over here. I certainly couldn't have done that before. But what do I get for that? That seems very much like a doggy jump section. What are these statues? I've seen a couple of those before. I can go that direction, but I want to see if I can, like, find... Lantern stuff. Okay, excellent. This is the guy. Alright. Cool. And while I do that...
Any other torches in the area? Yes. If those do anything, then I don't know. But hey, I've, I've got the lantern back to normal, which is good. Now I'm going to assume this is a midnight jump point. Wow, really? Okay. I thought for sure it would be a midnight jump point. It looked perfectly set up for that. Alright, well, it is now daytime, finally. So let's go back here. And yes, this is all important. Hi, opponent. All right. Baby's woken up from his nap. So what I believe is instead of 2,000, it's now 200 because we did the other quest. Okay. And that will put Malomart into existence in Castletown. And that's all I wanted to do because it's 200 bucks. And I had the money, so I figured might as well. You know? Okay. So now that that's finally done, that's what I wanted to start the damn episode with, but of course, everything just went poorly. In terms of timing. Alright, now let's go back to Farron. And see if we can figure out how to get to Flag Place. Let's actually make some progress, shall we? Okay, so you're just bringing me back over here? Yeah, this is like the forest area. Yes, that's why I'm here. A golden cuckoo! <laughs> okay. Uh, before I do anything like that, though, I do want to just quickly check one teensy tiny thing. I want to see how I did in this dungeon. Because this is the dungeon, right? Yeah, Forest Temple. Alright, so... Map. Alright, well, there's no pose, and I didn't miss any treasure chests. That's all I really need to know. Okay. Good on you, past ulti, 2017 ulti. Alright. Uh, before I do anything else, I'm also going to spend some money that I've got. I 
I, I want to give you the money. Okay. I am a good Samaritan. We. Oh, that's where I'm supposed to go. Oops. Sorry, chicken. It's you and me against the world now. Why? Well, hey. Okay, so, uh, where am I supposed to fly to then? Oh, hey. Has this been here the whole time? Okay, ten free dollars. Alright. Let's try this again. Alright, I thought this was like a background area. So I didn't think I could actually land on that. Alright, well now we're over here by where the doggy section was. Come on, wind. Come on, wind. Wind? Oh, wait. I have a wind. I, I really thought that was gonna work. Ah. Been so long since I used a boomerang. Come with me, chicken. Okay. So now we're in the sacred grove as a human. Which is interesting, because we couldn't even go back out this way as a human. It locked us in. Oh god, not you again. Alright, well, we're doing this again. I guess he's gonna lead us to a different spot. I suppose that's the assumption. Okay, which direction can I go? It looks like several. I'm gonna go this way though, because there's fire. I stab you. Alright, so away where there's mushrooms. It does actually look like that's the general gist of what I'm supposed to be doing. Is just track the lantern. Look. I don't have anything against you guys. You're annoying me. Can I just like hit you with an arrow? Yes, I can. All right, well this isn't too bad. It's just, it just is a thing. 
anything in the water here? Someday I will learn the buttons I'm supposed to be pressing. Okay, there is nothing in the water here, but it was worth a shot. I can see your fire over this way. I do at least like that, like, the trick here is a little different. Because you actually have to, like, pay a little bit more attention than just, like, wandering around to the only available area, you know? Although I do wonder what happens if you get it wrong. I don't know if I was supposed to do that, but I mean, hey, I can do it. I wonder what, like, an overhead map view of this area looks like. How messy and entangled is it, actually? I think I'm close. I don't see which way I'm supposed to go here. Is he in here? actually kind of tricky. I kind of like that one. Because, like, you could hear him. He was in the room, but, like, there wasn't any light anything, and there wasn't any light anywhere, so I was like, I, there's nowhere I, for me to go. I don't want to mess it up by leaving this area, so, like, where could he be? And it was like, I need to use the bow previously, so it was like, let's at least just look around. Uh, we're back into this place. Which means we're probably at the end of all of this. Hello. Look, I will be happily befriending to you if you don't just, like, attack me every single chance you can. You know what might be nice? Uh, 
if after all this is said and done, we get like a teleport. I think I hit one of the one of the puppets as it spawned instead of Skull Kid here. At this point, I'm assuming it's Skull Kid. I don't. I didn't actually look it up to see if that was the case or not. But like, let me hit Skull Kid. I had a perfect shot, and you guys just keep getting in the way. Would you stop it? What are those hitboxes? I would absolutely swear, in any other situation, I would be hitting Skull Kid, but no, it's like, oh, they're... Bigger hitboxes than otherwise. Whatever, okay. What I was hoping is that there's gonna be a warp point when I get here. My main point. Anyways, yay, arrow's back. Oh, that's the other one where I was with the dog. Interesting. Which means that I haven't been here before, which means I want to at least scout it out slightly with the... Alright, landing on a dig spot. Yeah, I'm just hoping that there could be a warp point here. But if you want to get back to this dungeon, it's not going to be a million years, you know? I'm just back here. Oh no, don't tell me. You need to die. Oh no. Oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no. Don't. Don't do this to me. I'm afraid. Okay, well, I have this now, which lets me get up here. I don't really know what being up here gets me. I'm really afraid right now that's going to make me do another puzzle. I thought I heard something sparkly. dog part. Huh. Don't. Don't do it to me. Don't. Okay. So, uh... How does this work? Okay. I, I don't see the logic in that, but alright. I was only doing that because I was like, what am I supposed to do here? <laughs> this is a thing I can interact with, I guess I'll do that then. 
Alright, so there's... Okay, this is what I wanted. I can't be too upset about this, I was just... It happened right when I was like... Okay, apparently there's five of these guys, so like... That worked. I did not see the fifth one. I'll take it. Alright, so that's exactly what I wanted. A warp point here. And also no puzzle to solve. Which is very nice. So I guess that's it for this episode. It was kind of a weird episode, but I'll take it. So next time on Let's Play Legend of Zelda Twilight Princess, we're going to start the next dungeon, because I am assuming that it's right here in this door. Somehow. So, right. See you guys next time for more Zelda Twilight Princess.